This uh, next game is for Greg and Jeff. It's called New Choice. Come out here, Greg and Jeff. All right. Don't waste any time. Let's go. Greg and Jeff. Hello. <laughs> Uh, what I need for these guys, I need a suggestion from our live studio audience here. Uh, an odd small business, some, a small business you wouldn't see in the mall, but maybe you'd like to. Baby a baby proofing store. It's in a baby proofing store. And what yeah, happens is, is uh, Brad's going to call this game. It's called New Choice. And they're going to start a scene for you in a baby proofing store. And uh, once in a while, Brad's going to yell New Choice. And they have to make up a new thing for what they just said. It's really fun. Not as easy as it looks. Take it away, Greg and Jeff. Oh, New it looks choice. easy, does it? Yes. <laughs> You wanted to see me, boss? Yeah, um, it's about your baby proofing. I found this bottle in the corner. What do you call broken glass and barbed wire? New choice. What do you call foam? <laughs> I think that babies should be able to experience the joys of holding foam. It's not so much the foam, Deke. It's <laughs> that you put bourbon inside the baby bottle. New choice. It's that the baby bottle's full of jello. New choice. I've always wanted you. <laughs> Would you like some bourbon? Yes. Pour it in my mouth. <laughs> I hope no babies walk in. Rough and rough. Pardon me? I said that's enough. <laughs> no, no babies will walk in. They usually come in with their mother and father. I was thinking about giving you a raise. Really? You've been doing a terrific job here. Well, you know, I have some new ideas about baby proofing. Well, let's hear them. I said the best way to keep things baby proof is to eradicate babies as a species. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no more babies. That is bold and innovative. I love it. New choice. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. New choice. I had that idea this morning. You did? Yes. That's why I'm the boss, and you work out there on the floor. See the name on the office? Mr. Rottweiler. New choice. See the name on the office? Betty Johnson. I haven't had a chance to change it. Everybody knows that you murdered Betty Johnson just so you could have her baby-proofing business. New choice. Everybody knows that you murdered Betty Johnson just so you could have her rubber baby buggy bumper business. Choice with a Swedish accent. Everybody knows that you killed Betty. Betty, Betty. <laughs> Everybody knows you killed Betty. Just you could have a rubber baby buggy. Bumper. I went against my best judgment hiring a Swedish person. I've been lying to you all along. What? I'm actually a Russian spy. A Russian New choice. I'm actually your father. <laughs> You're my baby. I tried to baby-proof myself, but the operation didn't take. No wonder there's been so much weird tension between us. New choice. No wonder you wouldn't give me the keys to the car to go to the prom. New you... choice. I still want you. Thank you, Jeff! Thank you, Jeff! We'll be right back!